Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you really quick how to access your ebook and how to use my lab to do your homework. And so we will start on um, the ARC homepage. Well, once you log on to Canvas and you are at our dashboard. So you should, should see all your courses here, including our statistics 300 second eight weeks. And you may see some of the announcements here that I've already sent. So let's go into our course and to view announcements to make sure the most recent announcement will show here but to view all the announcements they should also come to you via email form so you have our welcome to stat 300 that i sent last week when our course opened and this was a message for waitlisted students and if you are not getting emails you can go into your account and notifications and make sure that you are getting notifications for all the different things like when do you want your notifications sent so announcements um, notify immediately and so this will send you an email to your email account the email that you have with los rios so if make sure that you, that's an email that you're checking okay so back on our home page you should have already gone through the orientation module and signed up for my lab so now that you're signed up for my lab you will go to just access Pearson to go to your my lab account if you haven't signed up yet then it's going to ask you to go through the registration process and so in this case um, it's going to ask you to create an account if you don't have one yet so you'll go through that process of cre creating an account you can sign up for a 14-day free trial if you don't have your financial aid yet to pay for it or you need to wait till your next paycheck whatever your financial situation might be you can do a 14-day free trial that way you don't get behind the course this is an eight-week course so it's going to move really fast even one week of getting behind on the homework will be detrimental to the rest of the eight weeks. This is only an eight week semester. So make sure that you set up your, your my lab. Once you are in, this will be your um, tab might look something like this. So go to open my lab and mastering, make sure that you have pop-ups enabled. Otherwise you're gonna get a blank screen, maybe a little tiny notification on the top that you might miss that says um, pop-up block so just make sure that your pop-ups are enabled when you log on this is what you'll see you'll get a calendar first of all of things so um, the 22nd that will be when you're getting started with my lab assignment is due and then you have all the sections due on the 28th for week one now I really sincerely hope that you are not waiting until the due date to do the work the homework that will be really bad you're going to start to feel overwhelmed really fast so throughout this week as you're watching the videos you should be starting your homework the 28th should be the last day when homework is due so anything that you need to if you need to go to tutoring if you need to come to office hours and ask me for questions right that's like the last minute to kind of fine-tune what you're turning in not the day that you start and finish the homework um, just you know time management and study skills don't start the material the day that is due um, and let's see and then to access your ebook you'll go to e-text on this menu here on the left and you click on e-text and the textbook will open up if you probably saw in my syllabus that I said the physical um, copy of the textbook is not required it is optional if you want it that's because with the my lab uh, when you pay for my lab you get access to the ebook and so this is the exact textbook so say we want to go to we are working this week on chapter one and chapter two and just section the first section of chapter three so let's say we go to chapter two and we want to look at histograms and so what you see here is the actual pages from the textbook you can take notes um, you can make flashcards here's a little notebook you can highlight um, and so if you want to highlight something you can highlight it with your cursor and then it asks you what do you want to do do you want to highlight do you want to make a note do you want to make a flashcard do you want to copy do you want to search the selection do you want to translate it to a different language so 
those are the tools that the ebook provides. If you have a tablet or mobile device, you can also get the Pearson app and then you can have your textbook, your ebook on your mobile device. Let's go back to the homework. So when you go to assignments, you will see the different homework assignments here. So say I want to go to section, well, we did histograms. That was section 2.2. So let's say I want to go to that homework and you can see here you have six questions on this. So you can, let's go to question five, just to view one. And again, make sure that pop-ups are enabled so that this window is able to open. And so it asks you the question and then you have, what is it that we want to do? And then you have, if you're not sure how to answer, you have a video that you can look at. You have the textbook. So this will take you to the textbook pages for section 2.2. Um, get more help. You can send me an email. You can use a calculator or you can, sometimes there is something that says, give me a hint for this one. That option is not there. That's a publisher um, option. So some questions may have it, some questions may not. And um, so that's how my lab works. So all your homework is done via my lab. And so this is question two. So it asks you to pick the best histogram that fits this data. So let's see if this one has, um, so it has the same, oh, here, help me solve this. So this one has help me solve this. So that gives you hints on how to approach the problem. View an example gives you the exact same type of problem, just the numbers a little switch so you can view how the publisher solved it and then you can try to navigate, get it on your own. You can also go to tutoring or come to my office hours. So that's my lab. Now let's go back to Canvas and let's talk about how you submit your notes for this class. So back on our course, let's go to modules. As I mentioned in my our Canvas video, everything, make sure you access everything via the modules. So as you go through, let's go to week one. So here, everything is always set up with what is coming this week. So learning objectives and tasks. And then once I view that, I can go to next. The idea is if you navigate one by one, all the pages should open up as you go. So here's where, so this is section 1.1 and 1.2. So we can, I provide you notes. You have blank notes as a Google Doc or blank notes as a, in PDF format. So if I try my Google, I get this error or it might say request access. That just means that I am not logged on. See here how it has, it says profile one, there's nobody signed in. So I can sign in with my Los Rios account and then that will sync my data. If you happen to have forgotten your password for the account, another thing that you can do is go back to the, the homepage and want to go to Los Rios Gmail and apps dashboard and log in. Once you're logged in to your Los Rios dashboard, notice that the little circle there still says profile one. I'm still not logged on to the browser. So what I'm just going to do really quick is click on Gmail and it's going to ask me to connect. So it's logging me in. Now it's going to go to my Gmail and it's going to open it. And, and now notice here that my profile is now up. So that little circle that first said profile one now has my profile picture. If you don't have a profile picture, it will show your initials or whatever thing you might have under your profile. And now if I go back to my canvas page where the notes were and I click on blank notes again. Now the notes open up. So all I need to do is really make sure that my browser is logged on to my Los Rios account and then everything, the syllabus works the same way, notes 
work the same way. If you're still having issues with that, you can, of course, just access the PDF format of the notes and you can download it. So some people do this, they download it. And then if you have a tablet, um, people just write, handwrite their notes in there, save it again as a PDF and then turn it in at the end of the week. And all your notes should be turned in. So not don't do section by section and turn it in. Everything should be in as a single um, PDF document. So section 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 2.1, 2.2, 3.1 will all be turned in at the end of the week on Friday on the week one um, notes assignment. If you are using the Google Doc, then to be able to edit it yourself, you just go to here, file, make a copy. And then normally what I will say, I will say something like Owens, right? Do your last name and then the notes and then make a copy. And once that copy is made, now you can start editing it. So I, editing it sorry as you watch the videos you can then start filling in the notes here i like to change it to yeah i already have red text color so how many text messages have you sent today to you know blah 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 whatever you can change the whatever color you want to use if you want to use green whatever your favorite color is if, if you want to leave it black that's fine it's just when that with a different color is easier for me to see that those are, those are your notes. Okay, so that's how you work with my lab. That's how you work with our notes. Oh, let me go back to the modules. So back to our week one module. So here you will see um, the bottom one is week one video notes submission. So start assignment, you'll click on that to submit your PDF. Your PDF should have the notes for the whole week. So that means how many sections were in this week? 1.1 and 1.2, 1.3, 15.1, there isn't really um, much notes in there you can still submit those there's a, a video to watch but mainly the discussion is the homework so you see 1.3 homework and then chapter 15 discussion is the homework for 15.1 2.1 and 2.2 2.3 and 3.1 so those are the sections that then on week one video note submission you'll submit all of those together as a single file document pdf document so you'll go in here start assignment and here when you go to choose file you put in the file that you saved so if you are doing your notes like this as a google doc um to combine google google docs the best thing i i've found or at least what i do is i just copy so if i want to copy this i'll just copy the whole thing and then paste it with the section 1.2 and then as i go to 1.2 or when I'm at 3.1, I might just copy, right? Keep a running document of copy and pasting. And then once you're done and you have all sections together, you can go here, download as a PDF document, save it, and then submit it on Fridays. And the notes stay open till Sunday in case Friday comes too fast. <laughs> they stay open until Sunday. Um, all right that is it that's my lab in how you submit notes email me if you have any questions